out here playing golf. What what uh, made you decide to be here? Well, I had to withdraw yesterday morning from Birmingham, and I really didn't do much today. Just kind of goofed off a little bit, but support my man, Coach Anderson. I, anytime I get a chance to come and support the Hogs and the coaches, I always try and do it. Um, me and him have known each other for a long, long time, and uh, he's a dear friend. And thought I'd just come up and surprise him and just, you know, chill out with him. You play with Coach Richardson today, too. What was that? Oh, it was awesome. I hadn't seen Coach in a while, and uh, man, I hope I can hit a golf ball when I'm his age, <laughs> the way he does. But uh, no, nah, it's just great for us. We don't get to see each other enough, and uh, to be able to come up here and just kind of chip and putt around, hit a couple drives, and uh, have some fun. You mentioned out there about your knee maybe being a couple weeks away. How frustrating has that been to not be able to play these plays? Well, it's frustrating. I mean, it, it really is. And I've got such a bad shoulder, too, that I'm trying to work around that. It's been separated since 07. So you get the knee going. I'm half finishing on everything. And uh, But hopefully this uh, PRP with the Synvex that Doc put in in Houston, I probably shouldn't have played Birmingham last week. Uh, but I got two weeks off, just a couple uh, fun stuff to do, a couple of days. I got Toby Keith's event one day, and I got my folds, our folds of honor uh, this weekend. Uh, I'll take it easy, but hopefully... Doc Faulkner down in Houston told me, you'll be all right. You'll be good in two weeks. You'll be able to walk and everything. So, Is it your right knee, I guess? Yeah. And we would shoulder it. Right. Okay. Have you, have you been keeping up with the successes of the Arkansas golf programs lately? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw the men uh, qualify. The ladies did real well. And, uh, you know, and our boys out there on tour, a couple guys have won. Andrew won. And, uh, uh, no, it's great. Lingmer's been playing good. And it's just it's great to see it. Brad's a hell of a coach, and, uh, you know, he just always has a great program. Even when we played against him, I guess, when he was at Lamar, um, you know, he had a great team at Lamar as well, and then thank God Arkansas got him because he's a great coach. Yeah, I guess the men actually opened the NCAA tournament play tomorrow. Um, did you follow the program? Oh, yeah, 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 follow. I'm tickled to death about our baseball team and our girls' softball going to Super Regionals, and I know we got to play Oklahoma over there, but, you know, you got to win two out of three, but... You know, the coach has done a wonderful job for our girls softball, too. And, of course, Van Horn, our baseball team, is really great. And uh, things are looking up on our on our sports a little bit. So what do you think about the states, specifically of the golf programs, how good they both are now consistently? Oh, they're great. I mean, our women's team's doing good. I mean, um, you know, and our guys' team has been solid top 25 pretty much the last six or seven years. And, um, you know, it's tough. I mean, when A&M beat us three or four years ago, you know, our guy hit it up there about 20 feet, and the A&M guy kind of hit it through the trees to a bunker and got it like that and beat us. But, uh, no, we're, we're, we're a team. I mean, our team is really, really solid. Brad knows what he's doing, and uh, he always gets some talent. And, and you can see with our guys on tour, we've got seven or eight from his, maybe even more than that, from uh, from when he's been coaching here on tour, and they're, and they're keeping the cards. Injuries aside, how much are you enjoying the senior tour? Uh, it's okay. It's, it's just no fun when you're playing hurt. Um, you know, it's, it's a fun tour. It's a little more laid back. You know, you get a little more adrenaline if you get close to the lead. But uh, it's, it, it really is a laid back. And you gotta, you just got to go low. It, the guys are so good. The courses aren't near as long, of course, as a regular tour. But uh, you just got to shoot five, six on a par every day to even have a chance. You got to know Brad McMickin pretty well? Yeah, I know Coach really well. We used to do the golf tournament. I used to come up and do the golf tournament for him. And... Uh, uh, you know, for a few years, and we got to get that going again. But uh, yeah, I know him real well. He's, I think, Little John. My son wants to come to Arkansas, so <clears throat> we got a kid out of um, Little John's school at Bishop's Gate that's coming next year. It's really good. So he's doing a hell of a job. Did you keep up? Did you watch any of the softball games this past weekend? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love it. I mean, we won three in a row at home. I know we had the regionals here, but uh, <coughs> beat Wichita State six to four, I guess, yesterday, and now we're going to Norman and. You know, hopefully we can beat Oklahoma two out of three. You pretty much is, is your permanent home Dardanelle or where, where do you <coughs> like what's your My residency is in Clearwater because I'm down there more than I am right. in Arkansas. But uh, I still have my course and my daughter runs my golf course and my brother's my superintendent in Dardanelle. So. Another successful year for your tournament down there with the top raise money for the Very successful. I mean, can't thank uh, Ron White and Jamie Johnson and Toby Keith and Jake Owen and I mean just everybody that got involved even our local talent Jocko and Jamie Jones and um, <coughs> that concert Friday night and Saturday night are going to be people are still talking about it so it's really good I mean 
it's different because I'm, I'm, it's not kind of out of my realm. But um, I just love music. I love doing it. It's kind of a hobby. But for Toby to be up there two hours doing a show on Friday night in front of all my, my family and friends and our sponsors was just can't beat it. Where, where's your uh, where's your where's your excitement level for Arkansas football? You've got a new coach and stadiums being newly renovated. Well, more for me. I mean, I think it's just the whole you know AD everything just coming together, and we're going to be a faster football team. That's the way Chad coaches, and and you've got to be fast in the SEC. And you know the thing is, we haven't had a decent defense, and y'all tell me, I don't know. Um, 1964. <laughs> yeah, I won the national well, championship. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think since we've been in the SEC we've ever had a top three or four defense. And, you know, you just, you know, it's great to score points. We've got to stop the other team. And hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get our defense going. And I know our, we're going to be, we're going to score some points just because we're quick. You know? So I'm excited about it. What do you think you'll be able to play back on tour again? <coughs> I'm sorry. I've been dealing with this for a couple weeks. Um, Hopefully in Memphis. I'm, I've got Memphis. It'll be the last year that it's a regular tour event. It's going to go into the World Golf Championship. So I'm, I'm in on my number, and um, like I said, they're going to give me a spot anyway. So kind of be like kind of a emotional week because I've played that tournament so many years and loved it and lived there for a long time. And hopefully the doc told me I'll be ready to walk, you know. Really they, good. You just kind of drove around and hit some putts and stuff. Yeah, I hit a couple of drives. I didn't hit too many long irons, so that's when it really gets my knee. But, uh, yeah, I'll be ready for Memphis, I hope.